Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, CSS values and units. Um, there is quite a lot of things to talk about. Anyway, um, we'll keep it short, uh, even though it will be a quite a long video. Uh, so the topics are um, introduction to values, absolute measures, relative measures, percentages, numbers, colors, uh, and then positioning uh, and calc and, and the function calc. Um, anyway, um, first of all, uh, I want to say that uh, every every of our uh, CSS attributes uh, has their own values. You can see here that with the font size, we are giving it a value of 20 pixel. If you place a background color, which is a completely different uh, um, value, but it's still uh, giving us a value. So, I mean, you can change the value, which is still a numerical value for its color. In this case, we are using RGB, then we will talk about it even this. But um, all these, uh, these um, these attributes has a value and so has measures that are applied to it. Um, there are absolute measures and there are relative measures. Um, the guide here uh, gives us a, a big uh, table that uh, we, we would follow. This is there are the relative. Let's start with the absolute measures. Uh, the most important and probably the only one we are going to use for absolute measures is the pixels. Uh, always used, and uh, you already know, it's abs with absolute we mean that uh, font size is 20 pixel. Here the font size is 20 pixel. Um, if you place it as 50, the font size uh, has uh, more than doubled. Okay. Um, the point, uh, uh, of course, uh, that the problem comes uh, when our viewport uh, becomes uh, um, changes because you, you are using a phone or uh, you are using a, a computer. Of course, this, uh, this page has been created by someone that, uh, uh, that knows what he's doing and so he, uh, he adapts uh, and then the, the page to the viewport. If you take uh, this um, this stuff and you examine it, um, okay, it's, uh, it's still working something, but uh, you can understand that uh, is not uh, is not doing its job. Okay, so um, when you want to um, uh, adapt your page to um, to different viewports. Uh, it can uh, relative measures comes into play. Uh, there are a lot, a lot here, uh, and more uh, we go on with the history of programming languages. Probably more there are. Anyway, the most important here, and the ones we are going to talk about, is AM, RAM, uh, VW, and VH. Um, first, uh, VW and VH, uh, we are not going to make an example because, uh, as you can, and as, you, as you can read, uh, VM, VW and VH are one percent of the viewport's width and height. So um, it's easy to understand what it does if you place uh, a, a viewport width of one percent of one. It takes one percent of the viewport width or height, and then it, ad it adapts to the viewport as, um, as, it's, uh, um, as it changes from one, uh, from one uh, user to the other. Um, AM and RAM, and RAM, they are different. Uh, um, AM, it, it uses the font size of the parent element. Um, rem it uses the font size of the root. Let's see it on, on an example. Okay, um, I created. The, okay, we have these two classes, dead and son. Here we have a div with class dead. It has a p. Uh, it has two p. 
uh, one it's only uh, it's only the p of the div and the second is the class of sun so it applies the class sun so now we have uh, let's change this make it smaller and uh, we have this uh, the, the dead has a font size of 20 pixel the sun has a font size of 1m and you don't see the difference. These are the two different divs. So this is the first one, the first P, and this is the second one. They are the same font size. Um, okay, if I come here and uh, I place uh, 2M, save and let's have a look. Now the second P is doubled because uh, AM means that we are um, taking the font size of the parent and applying it to two times to the sum, to, to AM. Um, okay, uh, different is if, uh, if now the, the, the point to, of using the M, what it is, is that maybe uh, you want, um, let's say that you want this to be bigger than the sun, no? And so um, you use 0 0.6 AM, and now they are uh, proportioned as you want. If you want this uh, to become smaller, then also the also the the paragraph no uh, has become smaller uh, without you changing even the sun. Otherwise, you should change all all um, all your uh, p or all your titles and paragraph all together, and uh, it saves time. Uh, about RAM, uh, this, the, the point is different because uh, if you place uh, one RAM, now probably we don't see the difference, but okay, uh, it's uh, uh, RAM, uh, as I said, it takes the root element and it uses, a, it uses it as a value. Let's say two RAM and it has uh, multiplied uh, three RAM. Uh, and it works like this. If uh, now I come here and uh, I increase this pixel size, it changes nothing to the second element. Okay, so uh, why? Because uh, RAM uh, takes the root element as uh, its uh, as its uh, uh, parent, as its uh, reference, uh, which which is uh, the body. Uh, in this case, is the body. It's always the body, um, and generally, you will you will probably argue that uh, RAM, if uh, if RAM works, that that it always takes the, takes the root element is like an absolute measure. But actually, we said that is a relative measure. Uh, is not true. Is still relative. Is uh, theoretically still relative because uh, you can even change the root element even though you shouldn't because uh, you you would uh, i mean you would destroy your uh, your your environment but uh, if uh, you ch you you choose the, the root you choose to change the root element then you choose the ram in this moment one ram i think is 16 pixel because the root element by default the font size of anything that you don't specify is 16 pixel i hope i'm not wrong Anyway, fine. Um, then, then, um, ah, okay, this is, was for the RAM this, and for the M. Uh, remember, viewport width and viewport height for VH and VW. And then, um, and then there are others, but you should uh, have a look at it, I think, if you want. They are not really important, maybe. They, they don't really use the, but. Uh, at, um, at times, maybe you, you should know it. Uh, percentages, you can use percentages. Um, uh, let's find an example for percentages. But we have our div clear here. Uh, our div uh, uh, has a background color uh, of, uh, of blue, and it has a width of 
okay so now we have this we have uh, okay it's too blue but the point is that we are uh, we are using the width of the of our div is 50 percent and if you change it the, if you change the viewport it remains 50 percent um still uh, a good thing to, to to show if i apply let's apply to font to, to sun we apply a width of uh, width 50. Sorry. Okay. Uh, width of 50%. And as you see, um, the, the second P is the 50% of the parent element. So it's changing um, its width uh, to the you know, according to the parent element, which is not the root, uh, but is the div. So it's now is the twenty five percent of the root because it's the fifty percent of the fifty percent. Um, okay. Um, other things. Uh, there are some. Uh, there is some um, some value so like opacity. The, the example they want to show is the opacity. Uh, that takes only numbers. Uh, it doesn't take any um, any um, measure unit for the number. You just uh, opacity uh, works. Uh, that uh, uh, of course uh, it it uh, defines the uh, the opacity value of uh, of your color, and uh, it just takes a number between zero and one. So now I can say opacity zero point four. And as you see, it has become different. And um, okay, if you say 0 0.1, you can even see what is written. Okay, okay, okay. So fine. Now uh, let's dive into uh, colors. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, colors, there are three ways to define colors. Um, we already talked about it, of course, I think, but. Uh, um, so first is the hexadecimal code. Uh, it starts with the gate. Then you, you, you use 16 different values from 0 to 9 and from A to, Z to F. To the, um, and you place six of uh, these different values, like, for example, uh, randomly 3, F, D, 5, uh, C, Two. Okay, um, and all these different uh, these different um, values define uh, an RGB, a red, green, or blue uh, value. Anyway, um, practically, you can see here that uh, we have. Uh, then you can move it uh, as you want. And if you look, uh, if you look here. Up here, it's changing uh, the the value of the hexadecimal code is changing uh, accordingly. Uh, if you go here, uh, you can remember that the white is six uh, f and the black is six zero. These are the two most common to remember. Then the rest, of course, uh, it's impossible. Um, Okay, and here is it for the hexadecimal code. You can do the same with the RGB, uh, which uh, displays the same content, that's always color, but uh, uh, is um, uh, organized differently. It has three values from 0 to 255, and um, of course, uh, red, green, and blue. So the first one is the red. Uh, the second is the green, and the third is the blue. And then if you come here, you can change uh, you can change the values. Zero, 255, 255, and 255 uh, is white, 000 is black. Okay. Um, RGBA, uh, A stands for alpha channel. Um, and... Uh, 
uh, it's just a value that can be from zero to one. And uh, now you can now you can even change the alpha channel, which is the opacity saturation. Actually, I don't even know exactly. I think it's the opacity of the of the color. Um, and that's it. Um, anyway, normally people just use this uh, this tool now, so you don't you don't need to worry about too much to really understand how to display the different values. Uh, last one that uh, is the less used probably, but uh, worth to be mentioned, is uh, HSL, uh, HSL, which stands for with three values. Uh, this one, he the hue, uh, which is the color, uh, which is comes from zero to 360. You should imagine like the wheel of the colors, then the saturation and lightness, uh, which are two percentages. So, um, for example, let's take uh, 60 to 42 as value. Then uh, we have a saturation of 40%, uh, saturation of 40%, uh, lightness of 60%. Okay, it comes uh, this, this color, okay. And then, uh, as you see here, you can change uh, the, some values. Um, uh, you can change the values exactly like RGB and RGBA and uh, and hexadecimal. Same stands for uh, HSLA, uh, which um, adds just the alpha channel. Uh, so adds the alpha channel exactly with uh, like uh, RGB, like RGB. Now to keep RGB. Uh, no, in fact, uh, anyway, it exists also HSLA. A. Okay, uh, that's it for uh, for colors. That's it for colors. Uh, more positioning. We have seen. Uh, we have seen already background position that can be top, bottom, left, right, and uh, bottom, top, bottom, left, right, and can even be bottom center. Uh, or uh, bottom top center, bottom center, it can have uh, two values all together. Anyway, uh, these things are uh, pretty obvious. Uh, so, uh, so then we have uh, uh, content, uh, which uh, I didn't mention, and uh, it, uh, the content attribute is a value, so we are talking about it, uh, and we use it and we use it uh, uh, paired with before. Uh, before is a create a pseudo element um, that um, a pseudo element that becomes the first child of the parent element. Uh, the guide gives a funny description that I like to mention because it says uh, before creates a pseudo element that is the child of the selected element, okay. It is often used to add cosmetic, and uh, it's uh, three years that it says to add cosmetic content, and uh, and I like it, okay. Uh, so, um, the, the most uh, uh, easy way to, to understand uh, is this example. You have, uh, we have this topic games, which is probably a class, no? Uh, P class topic games, and then on CSS you add uh, before content, uh, and it has added this one, and then uh, on every topic games that you want, uh, it will add this uh, this joystick uh, image, uh, and that's it, and that's it for content. Uh, you can see that they add the URL, uh, they add uh, some background image set. Okay. Um, and uh, okay, last last one on this uh, topic, identifiers for color, that is obvious that we can use, of course, uh, these identifiers that uh, uh, they don't give us the same uh, precision as, as uh, RGB or uh, all, all the others, but there are plenty and generally we don't need to use uh, 
to use a, a very specific color, but we can just pick one of those, one of these. Um, last function worth, worth mentioning is calc. Um, um, calc allows us to, to, make, to perform cal calculation for values that are then used uh, for, uh, in the, inside the properties. Uh, have a, um, an example that, uh, that, can, um, that I think is uh, good to, that is the best way to show is, uh, um, for example, you want the width of uh, that, um, that is a uh, hundred uh, percent, so the whole screen minus a defined pixel size. Um, so you say a hundred percent minus a hundred pixel, and uh, calc makes the calculation. And uh, okay, I spotted what I wanted to show it in the live server. And here is it, it's half, uh, in, there is this uh, 100 pixel um, on, the la on the right, and uh, if, uh, if you scroll, it remains. So in this way, we created a measure that is half relative, half absolute. And uh, in, the pra in a practical sense, this is the case where you want to use calc. Uh, a thing that I want to say about calc, remember to use spaces, because if you write it like this, if you write it like this, the code crashes incredibly, incredibly, it never happens. But as you see now, it is not, uh, it's not using, it's not doing the calculation. So remember to put the spaces and then you can just mix uh, the percentages, VH, VM, blah, 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 pixels, centimeters, whatever you want with the calc. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. That's it for this lesson. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, you're following along. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.